Hello viewers, I've been using this OBI 200 box with Google Voice for about two years now and on one hand it's a great piece of equipment to save money with and still have a landline phone but on the other hand it can be the most frustrating piece of equipment I own. It'll work reliably for months at a time and then maybe two or three times a year it just breaks down and Unfortunately, Obahai's customer service is beyond deplorable. So when it quits, I'm kind of on my own. So what I usually do is I'll peruse some of the support forums, which often have some useful information, or I'll just play around with the settings myself and see if I can figure out what's going on. Most recently, my answering machine stopped working. Normally what would happen is I have uh, the answering machine set the toll saver so it'll ring four times and then answer and record or if there's already unread or unlistened to rather messages on there it'll answer after two rings and the Google voicemail used to answer after five rings so this would work fine it would record and it's kind of nice to have the Google voicemail as a backup you know in case something happened to my answering machine or whatever but I abhor using the Google voicemail as my only message recording uh, system, and I'll get into that in a minute. So, but what happened now, and again, this happened out of nowhere, I don't know if some kind of a software update was released for Google Voice or firmware update on my box or what have you, but what happened was my line would ring only four times, and it would stop ringing exactly after the fourth ring. Now the answering machine would pick up, you know, a fraction of a second after the fourth ring and it would miss the call. Now the oddity was when I call, you know, like from within the house, I'll get four rings that are synchronized from the phone I'm calling and on my phone line, but then the fifth, the fifth ring I get only on the phone I'm calling from and not on my line, and then it would go to Google Voicemail. And because of this, the answering machine would pick up no calls and they would all go to the Google voicemail which drove me through the roof. So I perused some support forums and ultimately the answer was to change the ring time of the rings that you're getting on your line. So normally in America here the standard pattern is two seconds of sound followed by four seconds of silence. So what I did here is I changed it to be 2 seconds of sound and 3.8 seconds of silence. And those, the lack of those extra 0.2 seconds per ring pause was enough time to change whatever factor is used to transfer the call to Google Voicemail. And um, my answering machine now answers the call. So it's, it's a difference of 0.8 seconds. It's not a whole lot. I really don't notice the difference as the phone is ringing, but it's enough to make the answering machine turn on before Google Voice turns on. Now again, I don't know exactly what area of the system transfers the call to Google Voicemail. I I'm, have my suspicions that it's something within this device because I do hear five rings before Google Voice comes on if I call number with the box disconnected or connected it makes no difference uh, but for whatever reason I only get four on the line so if I make the ring shorter the answering machine works as it used to so it's kind of a ridiculous way to fix the problem but it's pretty easy to change the setting and it works so that's the fix now I just want to mention this because I mean maybe I'm old-fashioned but I don't understand this I went on the support forums and there was several people that had written in with the same issue. And the answer box was full of people complaining about the fact that people want to use answering machines. And they were saying things like, well, what's so good about an answering machine that's not on Google Voice? And why in the world would you want to use an answering machine when you can use the Google Voice voicemail? Now, I don't understand why people would go into an answer section of a forum if they're not open to the questions. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, but the reason why I like to use the engine machine is because if there's a new message, this will have a flashing light on there. And it's a lot easier to come home from work or wherever I was and just glance over at the phone and see if there's a message. Whereas if it records on the Google Voice voicemail, I have to either pick up the phone 
dial my number, enter my password, and then listen to whatever it says. And not that that's a hassle, but it takes time and it takes remembering to do it. Whereas a blinking light kind of captures my attention whether or not I'm thinking about the messages. Um, or the other option, I have to go on the computer, read my email, and make sure that you know Google Voice didn't email me a message. So either way, the answering machine, if you're using it, if you're using Google Voice as a landline phone, the answering machine, in my opinion, is much better than than capturing the messages with Google Voice. But anyways, that aside, that's how to fix the answering machine not picking up the calls. It's a crazy fix. It's kind of ridiculous, but it just plain works. So until until something else changes and this stops working, this is my fix.